Hello everyone and welcome to Boundless Dentistry. In this video we'll talk about NOLAS classification of teeth. What is basically NOLAS classification and how do we use NOLAS classification to determine the development as well as eruption of the teeth. So let's get started. Firstly, talking about what is NOLAS classification. NOLAS classification basically describes the developmental stages that is associated with the teeth, starting with calcification, then formation of the crown, and then finally formation of the root. We use NOLAS classification to describe these different stages that I've listed right now, and using mostly radiographs, and diagrammatically we also, we also can represent this. Secondly, NOLAS classification is used to determine the dental age of a patient and as research has concluded that most of the times the dental age coincides with the chronological age of the patient. NOLAS classification is also one of the age assessment tools used by the researchers as well as the dentist. Basically, most of the times we use radiographs to describe NOLAS classification because radiographically we can see the initial crypt that is formed in the mandible or maxilla then as the calcification begins the root is started to form and the crown is started to form so we radiographically most of the time see it but to explain it we can also use diagrammatical representation as well and finally research have concluded that NOLAS classification is the gold standard that is used most of the times to determine the dental age of the patient now further talking about the classification, NOLAS classification consists of these from 0 to 10. These are the different developmental stages that NOLAS classification describes starting from the absence of the crypt all the way down to the complete formation of the tooth along with the closure of apex. On your right hand side you can see how diagrammatically it has been drawn to make you understand how this classification works out. So Basically, NOLAS classification can be used for different teeth that are present in the oral cavity starting from there is no crypt over here all the way till the complete formation of the tooth. Talking about the first stage that is stage 0, there is no crypt. In this case on your right hand side you can see that there is no presence of crypt. You cannot uh, be sure where the tooth is forming because there is no crypt. If you talk about crypt, crypt, it's crypt is basically a space that is filled by the dental follicle where eventually the tooth will form. So at stage 0, you cannot say where the tooth will form because you cannot see the crypt. Now talking about stage 1, st in stage 1, the crypt is now radiographically appreciated. You can see right here by this oval type shape the crypt is now present. So this means that the tooth development has now started. Talking about stage 2, now you can see on this radiograph these radio opacities that you can see. This basically tells us that the calcification of the tooth that is forming has now started. So at stage 2, the initial calcification of the tooth has now started and radiographically you can appreciate it by seeing these radio opacities marked by these arrows. Now talking about stage 3, in, in this stage 3 if you see this radiograph you can see about one third of the crown has now completed its formation you can see over here. So at stage 3 one third of the crown is now formed by seeing this radiograph. Furthermore in stage 4 you can see more of the crown is now formed and by stage 4 you can see two, approximately two third of the crown is now formed you can see with this radio opacity in this bud that the tooth is forming. Now at stage 5 the crown is now almost completed you can see that you can definitely say that the crown is almost complete but sometimes there is a slight difficulty in distinguishing between stage 5 and stage 6 because stage 6 says that the crown is completed and stage 5 says it's almost complete. So there is sometimes a bit difficulty to definitely say which is stage 5 or which is stage 6. But in this case you can say that the crown is almost completed at stage 5. Now at stage 6 the crown is 100% completed. 
you can see the whole crown has now been formed and you can see these spike like structures over here this basically marks the beginning of root formation now root formation will start because first the crown is formed the complete crown is formed and then the root formation will start at stage 7 you can see the crown is completed but you can now see with this blue arrow that approximately one third of the root has now been formed so this marks stage 7 where one third of the root has been formed talking about stage 8 in this case you can see the, the root formation is progressing ahead and approximately two third of the root has now been formed you can see with this blue arrow two third of the root has now been completed also at this stage the crown the root our formation is two third of its formation completed and the tooth starts to erupt in the oral cavity at this stage now talking about stage 9 at this uh, stage you can see in this radiograph the tooth has erupted in the oral cavity the crown is visible and you can also appreciate that all the root is almost completed at this stage you can see and at this end you can see the apex are open so this marks stage 9 where you can see the root is almost complete but the apex are open at this stage so this is stage 9 now the last stage which is stage 10 as this case you can see the crown is fully erupted in the oral cavity the root formation is also completed 100 percent and the apex are now closed so this is the last stage which is stage 10 marking the development of the teeth where the crown is fully erupted in the oral cavity the root formation is also completed and the apex are also closed so this was all about nola's classification which describes the development of teeth used as a golden method to determine the dental age of the patient and in most of the researches it has concluded that estimating the dental age using nola's classification most of the time it coincides with the chronological age of the patient so this was all about nola's classification if you found this video useful so please like share and subscribe and press the bell icon and thank you for watching this video and see you in our future videos thank you for watching